we're gonna watch a new video uh from someone named axolotl aristotle um we're already off to a good start i am not a furry so this will be interesting this will be knowledgeable for me i do not consume furry content i don't know what a furry is um you know it's just really it's a it's a mystery to i papa mutt don't say furry and point at me chat i'm trying to make an intro to this relax doubt no bro but come on me a furry guys please like come on <laughs> anyways let's see what we got here chat all right axolotl um this is axolotl infiltrating a furry con exploring the world's largest furry con as a non-furry furry okay well again off to the best start no i'm an axolotl also aristotle true hey there all you true true all right what's up furry you know that's uh that's not helping my case sure sure that's cute I don't, that's a cute little axolotl i want to go for a cost of bed i'm not a furry exactly there you go okay we got hey yeah. there all you gals gents and peeps all right you got a little guy you got a little man here and you're telling me you ain't a furry come on it's very cute by the way it's it, but also you got a little man here this is axolotl aristotle you're on thin ice yeah something special you're on thin you. ice Normally, I'm a video essayist, oh. but I decided to try my hand at investigative journalism. Sure. See, there's this, uh, this is a small horror game? Oh. content creator. Oh. You guys might not know him. His name's, um, 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 oh yeah, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Never heard of him. Yo, why does Joe look like every uncle in my family? <laughs> like, on God. What? That's not a furry. Okay. Axolotls oh, don't have fur. You're right. Sorry. He's a scary. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Get yeah. it. I apologize. Right. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You know, as a non-furry, I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, Joe. What does Joe have to say? Good old Joe. He popularized the idea that furries are not only in schools, but also have kids using litter boxes to go to the bathroom. Oh, hell. That was Joe? Oh, Joe. You silly weirdo. And when I first heard that, I thought it was just something really weird and dumb and a joke. And sure. I'm just going to ignore it. Sure. But now there are literal politicians trying to. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Uh, hi. Pop about here. Non-furry. Um, politicians in general are stupid. That's the shot. Nobody here. Politicians who believe everything they see online is your literal average, like, old bastard who still uses Facebook in 2024. And I guarantee you these fools will look at the future of AI like videos and stuff and be like, whoa, Squidward's real and he's killing our youth? We got to ban Squidward from schools. I, I, I guarantee you. Yep. It's always the same mustache, gray haired old bastard who's been in office for 34 years. And the end. Pedal this to people is fact. Yep. But is it really? And... What even is a furry? No idea. Well, was there a Republican, uh, me and some of my yes. friends went to the world's largest furry convention. Actually, some of my friends and I. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. Listen, I'll, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. That's on me. <laughs> hey, that's on me. I'm sorry. That's on me. That was cringe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Hey, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you go to the bathroom? <laughs> Sorry. All right. That was my last one. That was my last one. I don't mean to trigger anybody here. <laughs> Yo, MFF. Let's go. MFF was really fun, but also exhausting. Um, I saw Carl and Ardent there. Ardent decided to fly in literally or like train in or whatever the last minute of the con. And Ardent was staring at me in the bathroom. That was cool. And then uh, we drove. Thank you. And Carl... Um, Gave me one of the coolest shirts that I can just never wear again. Oh, uh, I have 30 plus years. Oh, I was a white man. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I didn't wash. You watched me wash. And to find out. You furries. Wait a minute. Bro. All right, let's see a pop up to this bad boy. Wait. All right. I, I always wear one of two things at these cons. That's how you can always find me. In a Kotsky hoodie. I know. Shut up. Or my first suit. Let's find out. Let's see him here. Thank you for the whole year! Thank you for the whole year sub. I'm like, I'm like pausing to see if I can find anything. Okay. Midwest Did you see Oh it? my god, I thought that was a part of the video and I was ready, dude. 
Also, furries are cringe. Also, is it weird that I know exactly where in the convention all this shit goes down? The convention, I, I've been there twice now, and now I, I know where every, how to get to everywhere. You, uh, you also have a rave outfit. I do have a rave outfit. I was thinking about making a rave sona. A sona that I bring specifically to raves. That way, people just don't recognize me as Papa Mutt. You know what I mean? I was literally thinking about making a rave sona. If I do it, it's going to be a bat with those, like, cool hypno eyes. And I wanted to have, like, them, like, glow in the dark. Because I like bats. You guys know that. Bats are cool. Fest is held in Chicago every December. So this year, me and a couple of my friends okay. made the trip to... I'm, like, pausing to see if I recognize anybody. The Windy City to see... There's so many furries here, dude. Ew, gross. <laughs> What was what? We arrived a day okay. early and got to go to the Art Institute, sure. where I found this lovely photograph in the basement of someone why, licking someone why, else's eye. Why would you? Why would you post that here, you piece of shit? Why? I'm already mad at you. And while I was staring, I at can't. This I can't look at it. It's awful. I'm gonna throw up. Beautiful horror. Stop. I I help. Stop. No, it does not. I think to myself, huh? This is gonna be the least weird thing I'll see this weekend, isn't it? That's true. It will be. And trust me, we'll, we'll oh, get Okay, it. I'm sorry. I just... There's the T-Rex. There, the there they are. There they are. There they are. It's not fair. There they are. Look at all those guys. Ew. Blazer, I hate that. <laughs> also, the T-Rex is. Stuff, I promise. That night, we went to register, okay. and I found out that we weren't actually at a furry convention. We were at a line convention. Oh, you just got there, what, on Saturday? Come on. Come on. Line Con only exists when you get there on Saturday like a plebeian. You need to get there on a Tuesday, like a week in advance. That's the best way. <laughs> That's the best. So this wasn't my first rodeo. I've been to anime conventions before. True. Anime. This was my first convention post-COVID. Also, real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, I think, I think, uh, so, so when I was at, when we were waiting to get the registration, right? Um, I had my, 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 my cup with gamer subs, gamer subs in it. And I was waiting in line. I think it was Thursday line con at night. Right. And, um, that was the night Carl gave me the shirt, uh, which was unfortunate because it got, got wet really quick, but it's fine. Um, and I dropped my bag gently by accident and it completely exploded and I got water everywhere in my bag and pray and I had to run outside. That was right when the doors opened for line con. So we had to run outside, dump the water, quickly get in there, run back inside. And somehow we were still in like the first like 30 minutes of like line. So it wasn't that bad, but bro, I was in fight or flight. I'm like, no, we're gonna be no. Thank God Carl gave me a shirt like 20 minutes prior because I just like that, that thing soaked up most of it. And thank you for your service. <laughs> As it turns out, you have to prove that you're vaccinated for COVID, which means they check your ID and vaccine card. Wait, when was this? It took two hours of- Wait, which which fur card was it? Sorry, hold on. When did this, this come out? A year ago. So that would have been MFF 2022? 20, okay, 2022, that MFF- was they did check cards the most recent one is the description let me check let me check let me check okay no it's not we're gonna assume 2022 because 2023 they did not check for cards at 2023 so that would make sense we didn't last year we had did not have a vac check the year before we had a vax check yes Waiting. but once we were through I got my vaccine badge and Okay, wait, so I he wait. So if it was Furcon MFF 2022, I don't think I had my fursuit yet. Did I? I don't know. Alright, we'll find out. A line con two God fing damn it. True. Basically True. Okay. this was the That okay. 2022's was awful. That line con was terrible. I remember it because there were like three lines to get into. Right, right. There, uh, check, uh, near, uh, uh wait, what? Um, uh, hi, Bob Hawkins. Hello, Vortex. How are you? Line for actually getting the badge entry for the con. Yeah. And problems started to arise. The pizza, yep. See, I just used my YouTuber name, which actually got a compliment from the badge giver. But nice. one of my friends used his, uh, real name. Why would you, why would you do that?
Why would you do that? You know, first and last name. And Why? The guy giving out the badges, like, gave him a really funny look and, and said, uh, are you sure you want this as your name? I, listen... I mean, I, I mean, I guess, right? Like, but also, that's such a bad idea. But it just seems, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't like that. That's a, such a bad idea, bro. <sighs> we could already tell that we would probably stick out like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yep. Why did I write that? Nice. I think that was a mistake. No, that was good. I like that one. With that, <laughs> Hi, our night like... was over. Okay. But the next day, we went back to the con for our first experience with furries. There were a lot of them. I'm looking for me, chat. Like, a lot. Right. <laughs> Um, when me. checking the map for where to go, I did notice that there was a room for free HIV and STD testing. Yep. Every every con. I think every con, except for anime cons, should have this one. Anime cons, you guys don't got to worry about having sex. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> I say as I'm about to go to an anime con like next month. <laughs> and you know what? That's more progressive than the current American healthcare system. True. Good on you, furries. Thanks. Uh, since we were at the main hotel area, we decided to check out some Thanks. of the panels. That hurt? Off. Listen, I'm going to WeebCon next month. And I was really surprised. There was a plethora of all kinds of different things, like escape rooms, True. Uh, convention guys. By the way, if you don't sign up for the escape room like a month in advance, you're not getting in. Just something like that. It's furry Let psychology, know. tabletop RPGs. Did you job, see it? The furries, yes. Horror stories, concerts, meetups, yes. how-tos, yep. etc. Yep, yep. And yep. That's only no, 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 no. And that was only day one. Right. Uh, they also had this huge game room in the basement. The game room uh, in MFF is pretty cool. I always go, usually Sunday and Thursday are my days for the game room. Because um, no, I love raving and I love drinking on the weekend. I know, crazy, right? So Thursday, when it's kind of chill, I'll see if anyone's there. Then I'll play Magic the Gathering Commander at the game rooms. And then sun, Sunday, when I'm usually hungover, I will do... Again, some commander, and I'll make like a tweet like, "Hey, in this room, come find me if you want to play magic or hang out." Because they had me. Don't forget your ventilator. This, uh, this uh, stinkies. What? Filled with all different kinds of board games. Uh, there was an entire off branch room for VR. Uh, there was arcade games. Hell, I'm like looking for me in the in the in the mix here, dude. I'm looking for me. There were even people playing Halo. What do you, you mean? Know, if you wanted to play whatever, you could just walk in and find someone easily enough, whether it was like... By the way, um, don't forget your CPAP. Listen, I usually do. Um, I want to go on record, by the way. And I said I said this a hundred times. I'll say it again. If I go to MFF this year, which is, is probably unlikely because it's expensive, but if I do go to MFF for some reason, if I, if I just get a bunch of money between now and then, right? Um, I'm going to join the Beyblade tournament. I have never seen more people as excited for a thing then the Beyblade, those fools were screaming, three, two, one, let it rip across the entire. It was so sick, dude. Hydrant, I will thank you. It was so sick. I I will do it next time. I never watched Blade, Beyblade. I never, I never know. I don't know anything about it. I still want to do it. I want to do it. Uh, I, yeah, I, I did a thing to the Beyblade. That's also true. Oh, yeah, he did a thing too. A board game Positive or thinking. a video game. Uh, personally, where am I, where am I got I, where to play am I, where am I, where in the am I, where am I, where am I, where am I? Oh, you dork. Where well, am I, where I didn't am I? win, I did meet some cool people. Where am I? Where am I? We also heard that Damn the it. rave scene was really good. Uh, 2022's rave was bopping. 2023's rave pissed me off. Where's about to get furries? Bro, oh, there's so many furries that play MTG. Deadass. So many. So many. Uh, there were multiple raves and dances held yep. during the con, but... When we tried to get into one of them, we were turned away because we had bags. And yeah, they did away with the bag. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. Um, I have a very, very small bag that fits the bag rule, but they've changed it so I don't think you have any bags, which sucks because I wear very skimpy clothing to the raves, so I have nowhere to put my stuff. I don't know if they've changed it so it's like a very, very small bag. Uh, the size of smells, Shadow. I'm gonna throw you. Oh my god, the smells. You know, these were just light bags that you would just, you know, on like a cord that you put on your back. Yep. Like I'll have a picture of it here. Uh, uh, yeah, those are too big. The one that I was using was like, uh, it's like a very, if you see some icon, you saw it. it's like this very, very tiny backpack you get at Walmart for like $10. Do they have like clear bags? I think they can only allow like small purses almost, right? They got lockers. They're, the lockers are so expensive, bro. 
so expensive. Uh, we were just using it to the prison wand. Stop. And you know whatever we ended up buying from the. Oh, by the way, um, Razzle, there was a there was a Chad at the convention for, who was like wearing full knight armor, and he had a wagon full of like soap and deodorant that he was passing out to people. That like that that dude was a Chad. There was a dude at MFF 2023 that was just going around in like full night gear, trying to like make furries not stink. It was great because there were some weird stinkies this time. Granted, yeah, Spider Souls. It was it was it was Spider Souls, wasn't it? Was it Spider Souls? It's so funny. Dealers Den. So funny. But, you know those were denied. So of the hotel. Fair. You know, anyone that knows why a dance wouldn't allow small bags, please let me know. Like <laughs> uh, safety concerns mostly. I have to imagine it's probably just safety, it's probably just safety concerns. I don't get it, but I'm also really, really dumb. <laughs> no, it's just safety concerns. And there's no, don't worry, everyone. I explained X a little. Uh, why small bags aren't allowed in raves? Uh, dare don't do drugs. Oh wait, is it just for drugs? Wait, is that really why? I thought it'd be like a safety thing. It's just for drugs, dude. At 2022s, or at 2022s, I brought in a full bottle of Jack. You know what I'm thinking about it? Maybe the bags. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I know I'm thinking about it. Maybe. Maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, actually, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. So, okay. with the main hotel out of the way, right. it's time to make our way to the main convention. Where am I? Tell me find the me. Dealer's Den and Artist Alley. I'm looking for myself. The walk there was longer I, I, than I thought. I'm, I'm being very, I'm very, very like. Drugs for the pocket. Oh my god. Uh, and filled with, I'm assuming, every kind of furry imaginable. Okay. Uh, once we got there, though, sure. well, I, I was taken aback. Why? The area was absolutely huge to a scale I didn't expect oh, from something yeah. like a oh, free convention. No, 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 no. I, I know you're new to the game here. I know you don't know what's going on here. But, like, COVID, first off, it was or the, 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 the MFF was already a big con. But COVID quadrupled the furry population. There are people who became furries because they were stuck online all the time, and they just kept seeing Nick Wilde's, like, wiener, and they're like, hell yeah, it's my jam. So, yeah. <laughs> Chat, huh. y'all should all go to a con okay. and do a totally epic prank okay. on Papa by not showering don't for do a that. month I don't, oh my god, you're making me so mad. Papa Moochum, Papa Muckcock, Papa Muckcock, Papa Muckcock. Why does it say Keck W like that? I don't, why does it say Keck W like that? That's so, that's, I don't know why it says like that. <laughs> um, no, uh, for those of you confused with the, the inside joke, uh, at MFF 2023, there was just like, it wasn't a crazy amount, but there were enough people, I would say like, in my entire weekend from Thursday to Sunday, there were at least like four people that just stank. What there were there were a couple of real stankers at the rave, and it ruined the rave for me. I'm not kidding. So yeah, there are plenty of people out there uh, who had the stanks and like just straight doo doo stank, bro. It ain't like they sweating for like you know a day. Like oh, I've swept the day, right? It smelled like they haven't showered in, like a week. It was disgusting. So I was real bad about that. Uh, there were so many different vendors there, all selling various kinds of furry or furry adjacent media. Right. Uh, for normies like myself, they had Pokemon, Digimon, yep. Cult of the Lamb. Aww, this is really cute. That's really cute. Uh, they also had books. Uh, yep. Tabletop RPGs, skateboards. Whoa! Yo! These are fire! How did I miss these? Dude, these are fire! I don't know why. Uh, what do you mean? Hey, you cut, you cut that out. Because being a furry is simply a hobby. And if you're going to, very likely, hobbies will intersect. There are skateboard furs. And no, he's new, chat. He's new. It's new. But when this fool learns about car furries, oh, it's over for him. Car furries decided they wanted to pick the two most expensive hobbies you could pick and go all in, which is insane. How's your days go? Well, do I skate? I do not. I cannot skate this in my life, though. These are really cool, though. These are really cool. Posters, a biologist giving free okay, sick. classes, uh, sick, sick, giant sick. dildos. <laughs> Yeah, well, that should shock nobody. <laughs> Listen, uh, hey, shouldn't shock art, you. T-shirts, yep. hoodies, yep. board games. Right. I'll share the All merchandise I personally. That checks out. It does. It does. Or is this Ohio? It used to be a lot more in the open. I'm glad they've since put the dildos in their own section. 
Like, you know, I'm being serious. Like, I'm being serious. Like, I, I, I am very glad that they've sectioned off because there's a, not even just like for the obvious reasons, which is like, you know, cons cater to children and teens, but also there are plenty of ace people or like people who just don't give a shit about that kind of stuff who just don't want to be bombarded with wieners. Like, that's also the other thing, right? Like, if you're ace and you're just getting, like, wieners everywhere, you're like, okay, let's calm down. I just want to enjoy the con, all right? So, it, it, it's more, it's more, it's, it's, I'm glad they sectioned that off. I think it's good. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I had this really funny bit I was going to do with the land be pop socket, make a joke, that kind of Oh, that's so cute. Ace for here, yes, agreed. I'm just, I was just saying that when I went to the summer, oh, in a room for the, yeah, exactly. At MFF 2023, they had a whole area sectioned off for that, which I think is good. Can you be a bit, uh, repulsed? I appreciate those. Yeah. And I think that's in 2020, like three, four, and so on. It's definitely had zones dedicated to that kind of stuff. And I, I appreciate that as someone who, you know, I just want to like look at cool stuff, you know? Plus, again, you know, I just don't want to look at that guy all the time. Kind of thing. Um, but while I was exactly, writing, exactly, take exactly. I forgot to realize okay. that I'm filming this on my phone. Nice. I've been there. Yeah. Uh, I also got some Cult of the Lamb stickers. Wait. There's a ghost type. Uh Aww. Dude, the keychains are on point. You know what I need? I, I, need access, I got access to a flask. I've gotten a flask from every con and I lose it at every con. I saved this one. I have a lot for 2023, but Pokemon acrylic charm. Really cute. Uh, and this Mudkip plush. Really cute. I call him Puddles. I love him. He is my child. I love him. That's a very, very cute plush. They even had furry musicians, uh, one of which was kind enough to let me interview him. Uh, again, shock nobody, but furries are, it, it, it is a hobby. It's an extension. It is not simply, I know, again, I'm preaching to the choir. You all know, this person does not know. But it's just one of those cases of like, you know, it, yeah, you're a furry and also you have other hobbies. So. Hi, my name is Pepper Although Coyote. I'm the world's on only furry musician. If you like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> So what exactly what exactly does uh, furry music entail? Well, like, that's been a question people have been trying to answer for 10 plus years. Back when I originally got started, people also asked, like, well, what makes the music furry? And it's like, I got it. Yo, if you're on TikTok, you guys ever hear about the, um, you ever hear about, uh, uh, Cobalt Polka? Who has no idea what I'm talking about? I got you guys. Hold on. My dog's barking. Hold on, I got you guys. Hold on. There's a there's a guy who made Kobold polka, and it's really good. Here you go. This is a uh, freshman biology, and he made uh, what he has to assume is what Kobold polka would sound like, which is really good. So this is this is pretty furry, Jason. I think, right? It's so good. It's just little gremlin music. It's really good. I wonder if he... I think he did something else, did he? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. He did something else, too, I think. Let me, let me make sure. I think he did another kobold one. Let me check. Uh... Oh, he did a goblin ska. I don't think I heard goblin ska. What could this sound like? What is goblin ska? Hold on. I want to hear this. Sorry. Hold on. Okay! Dude, heck, this is cool. <laughs> it's, it's really good. I do love. Oh, oh, nice. Dude, his bass is really good. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean bass play. I'm anxiety now. That's, I think that's like definitely the point of the Goblin Ska is the anxiety. This was my favorite one. <laughs> sorry, I'm back. I'm back, sorry. This was my favorite one. This is the best one. I love it, I love it. It 
It's really good, dude. I'm sorry. I got distracted. Anyways, that's what furry music is. <laughs> well, in a literal sense, kind of nothing. Because it, then come back and if I could find out a way girl, to express an animal, but it's a person <laughs> through a song, and I guess we could. What, bro, what are you on about right now? Tried. But some of our, we have a song called Suit Up, for instance. Okay. And is that about. Oh, so it's furry. It's literally. Okay. Was it about music or real music? Because I recently found a fun DD song called Perception Check. Uh, we were listening to uh, Goblin Ska. Wearing a business suit to a job interview, or is it about wearing a fursuit to a convention? I kind of wrote it so it could be either. Then I have my what is my man talking about right now? A song which is about a uh, which is about a horse, and if you've ever been on uh, Twitch, Twitch, uh, you get to request the song streams. You've probably heard it before. Is he a streamer? I don't know who this guy is. So I'm sorry. I might actually. I'm very bad at names. I'm very bad at names. Who they say they were? <laughs> Bros yapping. He's yapping a little bit. Definitely. But is it furry or is it music about animals? Like all the time, the same guy got it. Musician writes about a coyote. Pepper coyote. Are they a furry musician now? <laughs> I'm gonna come to the IRL. I'm I I'm I'm so bad at names. I'm <laughs> well, he's got a Twitch. Does he, does he stream? <laughs> oh God! That scared me. Uh oh, he streams very rarely. It would appear. Oh yeah, the last stream was like two weeks ago. It's a very rare occasion, it seems. The yeah, I, I'm not familiar, but he seems he seems nice. I don't know what he's talking about, though. <laughs> this song when I was uh, deadlift, you cannot stop me from listening to it. I also yell, uh, uh, drop and hit the peak lift. Hell yeah. Stand for anything. So, we had a, I, me and I have a frequent collaborator called uh, Fox Amore, and we were Foxes and Peppers. And then years later, we realized that the abbreviation would be SAP. And in this case, we're trying to do a goof on RCA, so I needed three letters. I'm like, well, I don't know what bro's talking about, though. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what bro's on about, though. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Why not? Half records. So, uh, for any person that wants to experience your music Actually, for the first time, that's fair uh, enough. which I record feel the same or song way. would you if recommend we could just them You gotta bring that mic to your face, oh, man. I can't hear, I can hear all your half In this word. reality. <laughs> if you look up the album Ma, M-U-H, that's like a normal people music. In fact, you would have no idea that it was furry music if you just put it up. I have sure. a lot of people all the time like, my parents were listening to music with me. I'm like, wow, sure. that's really good. And then they found out it's by a furry like, what? Well, <laughs> sure. If, if you want to, if you want to consume my like PG thirteen plus content, sure. You're looking for blast. He's awesome. Yeah, I, 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 I personally, I'm not really like, look, I'm out, I'm not, in the, I'm not in the prowl. You do know, for the uh, albums. Oh, let's see. That's really cool. Uh, that album I spread uh, the wings one. I'm not familiar with this. I mean, if I ever see them in a con, I might hear their stuff. Sure. The aforementioned horse song on it. Oh, I see. So this one. Um, okay. Ah, I see. It's called uh, No C Like Horse. C ah. Fair enough. <laughs> sure, bro. I have that album. Oh, yeah, that, sorry about that My brain. The money maker. While I was walking okay. around, I did notice that a lot of people have these big images of their furry character on their lanyards. Uh, they're called badges. And I keep forgetting that is a furry exclusive thing, by the way. I, I keep forgetting. Because I, I, I go to anime cons and stuff like that. That is a furry exclusive thing. And I just keep forgetting that. I do. I, I'm like... When I was going to, I was getting ready for WeebCon, like in a month, I'm like, I need to get my badge. I'm like, wait, no, I don't. So it was the first, uh, what taught me about, uh, those. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be left out of the fun, so I actually ordered one for myself. Aw. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to be done there. Yep. Um, it has shipped, but the artist was kind enough to share a photo of it. Aw, and... that's cute. And very I just cute. absolutely love it. It's just very cute. looking like an ancient Greek statue, and I don't know what I'll use it for. Welcome to Shadow Man, welcome to Raiders! Welcome to Raiders, hello, my name is how are you? A full body badge of Aether? Oh, you should. Hi, Raiders, hi. Hi. I got my my badge uh, done by. How was your stream, by the way, Shadow? How are you? I got my badge done by Arcane Moon Arts, uh, my friend Gray, and uh, she she did it like it's really really good. And I just use the same one every time. And I had like cut it out. Eden, how are you? I have to cut it out every time myself after I laminate myself. And, like I just do it myself every time. It's it's easier that for me. Also convinced into getting an Umbreon Kigurumi by my friend. Yeah, that happens a lot. That Kigurumi is everyone gets a Kigurumi, hundred uh, percent. Sort of a way to blend 100%. in, as it were. For those of you unaware, uh, Kigurumi is sort of like a onesie pajama is, yeah, in the is. style of an animal or 
in my case, a Pokemon. I, I, just remember to uh, Pokemon uh, Fire Red stream. It was nice, but join the stream. Oh, heck yeah. It's probably the jank. The jank's half the fun. It was my first time ever wearing one. I had only ever heard of them when Chris Hardwick was telling a story about he and his girlfriend got them, like, I don't know, 10 ish years ago Fair. on The Talking Dead, if anyone remembers that show. Nope. Is that even still a thing? It is I, not. I don't know. It is not. And I do have to say, it, uh, it's I comfy. comfy. Yeah, it's comfy, bro. That's why I don't want to get one. I know I'll never leave one if I get it. It's real comfy looking. It, it just looks so cozy. And you know what? And the Crank Company Artist of FF. Actually oh, this year was amazing. I, I was oh, uh, definitely not over my head. Oh. Tending an improv comedy panel. Um, my enthusiasm mixed with the Kigu actually got me pulled up on stage to duke it out like Eminem did in 8 Mile. Did you win? Minus the rapping because, <laughs> oh man, no one wants to see me do that. Shit, why does this dog have glasses? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my I, god, it talks. Not like your mother last night. Oh, is it like, is it like, uh, is, are those, are there really like these 1v1s? I never heard of that. Is it like a 1v1 panel? That sounds dope. Like, uh... Um, little side note here. If you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to no! like and subscribe. How do I want? really mean a lot. I'm Where trying to get at least 500 subs before my so second anniversary next month. Uh, thank you I'm so much. I'm pretty sure he, you've already done really well. You're at what, 3k? Yeah, 3k is really good. I saw a fun video convention. The concon was made. Three days of celebration. As John's voice actor, Nuka 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 in like a furry convention and we just do a a panel where we just shoot the shit <laughs> like a, like a god dang podcast panel that'd be fun as hell of course now that was in the thick of things i did have to start interviewing some furries yeah and let me tell I was you like, oh, let's go well i do they it, were dude, pretty do friendly it. and some of them came from all over the world that's pretty cool yo how much that suit cost you think probably right like solid seven g's ain't no way it's cheaper than that to go to this convention. I don't think you're from the US, right? I am not. I am from the United Kingdom. Ew! The UK! Yeah. I'm going to throw up. The UK. Oh my god, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Oh man, the UK. Oh no. <laughs> well, hold on. What part of the UK, though? That matters. Hold on, that matters. Good point. Good point, Pop. Hold on. I've oh. went all the way over here to experience MLF for the first time and also the US. I cannot hear a word you're saying. Oh wow, how are you liking both things? It's very different in the US, very different but very cool. Very different but very cool, got it. Like it so, did um, oh, did so anyone loud. go to Queen Elizabeth's viewing in a fursuit? Oh. What the f- <laughs> I admire the unhinged question. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to the States. I hope you're I hope you're doing well. Hey, did you did you roll up to a funeral in just an outfit? <laughs> did you did you dress up like a like a, a deer person uh for the Queen's death? <laughs> I don't think they did. It was apparently um a whole ordeal. Um... Okay. I'm gonna go into a, a big brain time. This person said apparently a big deal, right? As if to imply this person does not know directly. Therefore. I'm gonna guess Wales. I'm gonna guess Wales. I don't think. Uh, listen, if, if they're indifferent to the Queen dying, it's Wales, or or they didn't care. True, but I'm gonna say Wales. Yeah, I'm gonna say Wales. I like Wales. Most of the Welsh I met have been really nice, except for Bardic. Bardic stinky. No, I'm kidding. I like Bardic. <laughs> Like it, it took about 24 hours to actually get and see the screen. Oh, yeah. Scotland! I can't say it's Scotland. I'm screaming. The little said, uh, "Shut up!" And our first person said, like, "Yeah, for real." Yeah, yeah I, heard, I heard. I heard these things are really hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you're a reindeer, right? Uh, well, just a white-tailed deer. A uh, white-tailed deer? I do. Oh, that's cute. He's from the north of England. That's fair. The Welsh are they going to engineering and become a furry or uh, or farm? True. My fingers are too uh big for the small phone. Hey, you'd be like that dog. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so normal, normal same garden variety deer, ah, I was gonna I was gonna ask what it's like only working one day a year. Nice. Uh, so that, 
again? I was going to ask what it's like only working one day a year. Oh, it's very good. Lots of holidays. <laughs> like, yeah. That's <laughs> year. When I go back, I'll have to be, you know, cutting yeah, down, you know. It is that season. Present, yeah. yeah it's a cute suit, though. It's cute. All right. All the other ideas <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, I mean, please show up. Like, we definitely... Oh, I like their tattoo. Look at that one. That's cool. That's cute. The rainbow watercolor. That's a really cute tattoo. I would like to see more people who are, like, other queer people who want to be here and more radical people, especially. Like, okay. we really need the energy in this fandom. Like, Oh, we're fine on the energy. No, I mean, if anything, is too much energy. Ugh, furries. But anyways, uh, hi Yuki, how are you? <laughs> Just be black. Like, I've in other DIY spaces, I've seen a lot more focus on like harm reduction sure. and on like. Oh, at first, it's a very uh uh. Is there a way to get around uh muffling? The guy in the interview said it muffed. So not really. It, it, it's very hard to hear in those things. There are some fur suits that are like you know the more expensive you get, the more the more chances. There are more there are more ways around the muffle. But for the most part, you either talk louder, you gotta like. It's tricky to talk in a fursuit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little tricky to hear and talk in a fursuit. Um, I'll know, do well. The ways that we as a community can be more politically active. So if there are politically active people who like want to be part of furry, please come here. We sure. need you. We need your energy. Okay. I, I can see what they're trying to say. They, they want more people that are just outspoken against the injustices that plague society. So luckily I think a lot of furries are at least at least a little bit engaged in that respect. Here, yeah, there, this is a uh, furry con explored by a non-furry. Like, so. People will like definitely accept you with open arms. We're definitely about like acceptance of neurodivergent True. people. True. Like if you're on the spectrum, I feel like this is like a really safe place True. to be yourself True. without judgment. True. And like, I would love to see other elements of acceptance and of like radical work get incorporated into that framework that we are building here and the energy that is here. That being said, there will always be weird outliers in any community. You're gonna have weirdos, and you've seen it before, right? You, I'm sure you've seen like, uh, just like, um, here, actually, you know what? I'm, I have a perfect point to make here. Hold on. Uh, I think it's who, who it's oh, hold on. So we'll use, uh, I believe this is the person, right? I saw some my FYP earlier. Is this, the, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so Turkey Tom, AKA Tom Dark, one of the same. Uh, he's a YouTube commentator. He reports on uh, YouTube drama. And you've got something like, uh, he does a reporting on whatever the hell this is, which is the furry extremists, which is Nazi furries, right? And for obvious reasons, those kind of people aren't a part of this fandom, full stop. Despite what they say or what they wear and what fur should they buy, they're not a part of this fandom. And uh, anytime you see that kind of shit, if anytime you, you see that kind of negative space in the furry space, if you are, if you are not just the furry space, anime space, whatever, like the anime space, that's a whole other can of worms. But at least the furry space, I can speak about half the furry space. Yes, you heard that correctly. There are alt-right furries. Uh, but they say they're furries. They're not furries. They are they are weirdos in a fursuit. They are not a part of the fa a fandom. They have been kicked out of every convention. Um, they do. They had to make their own convention because everyone hates them. Basically, in the furry space, um, furries uh, make it a point to keep the space clean, right? Keep it uh, uh, away from these freaks, these psychopaths. Um, I, there are, but again, Nazi furries don't exist because you are not a furry. You're not a part of this community. You are a, a Nazi in a fursuit. So, bye. Bye. So, it's our job to continue to work hard to... Not work hard, but like, you know, like, you know, if you see if you see some shit like that, you know, they don't belong in this community. Uh, prejudice, racism, any, uh, uh, any kind of like uh, anti-Semitism, any kind of just any, uh, any... Anything against nation, creed, color, uh, uh, religion, really gender, any kind of gender identity, anything that's negative against that does not belong in the furry space. And they get sent right over to the Dashcom ball pit because we don't want them here. So that's why you'll see uh, we, already, we have religious uh, freaks outside saying we go to hell. We don't need that for, exactly. Uh, but they're all banned for the. By the way, before you get too worried, like are there gonna be Nazis at the convention? Don't worry. Literally, they're all banned. The ones that aren't banned are ostracized. The, if you go to MFF, if you there are not the Nazi furs are on a ban list. They cannot go to MFF at all. And if they do somehow sneak in. 
which same thing with like anybody like that's an open zoo file under those freaking freaks those this dehuman monsters they're if somehow they sneak in they're ostracized they're put into a corner and they spent a, a hundreds of dollars to be alone for a weekend so do not worry the furries about are very good about taking out the trash um so yeah uh but yeah that, that's that's just something worth mentioning uh and that applies to a lot of communities some communities do have it rougher than others in terms of keeping their community a, a more safe space uh I, i'm not here to throw shade this is not let me joke about the anime community i'm not here to throw shade i've been to anime cons there is a lot more 4chan energy at your average anime con than it is at a furry con if that makes sense uh enjoy the video so far so far so good Cowboy. so far so good i'm just explaining like that fandoms in general will always have weirdos that don't belong and the best you can do is uh ostracize them which is why i love the furry community because they can they they kick those fools out quick as hell uh for the gay community because they don't uh tell our bigots exactly uh furries are gonna kick out the nazis because we uh we can hear the dog whistles oh and also that right it's it's ugh, it's just it's really it's, it's it's a it's a part of the process is getting those weirdos out of here i guess my biggest question is what kind of lotion do you do to uh, stop your skin from scaling up? Nice. Good one. <laughs> I'm looking at the uh, you know, Weeby Wears one day. Uh, I went to first call call that. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> kind of says we've had. Don't worry, no worries, man. Also, it turns out furries are way more political than I thought they were. Yeah, they have to be. The space is occupied by, like, a majority of queer folk, uh, people of color. Um, uh, 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 like, it, they have to be. Folks who are who are oftentimes... Because this is the most accepting space. So you're going to have people that are, like, disabled, uh, people on the spectrum, uh, neurodivergency, a whole bunch. They have to be political because we live in a world that does not accept a lot of these things as facts. Like, we, we, live, in, we live in 2024, but using just racism as, as just one of the many things, right? There, uh, there are still, to say the world is no longer, like, racist and intolerant against uh, uh, black people or Asian people, or really any person of color in the United States, uh, for, for starters, is would be insane. Like, so they have to be. They have to be political because they are fighting for their friends, themselves, those around them, the community. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of political furries because you have to be sometimes. Not even on TV people are furries, true. Uh, there were entire booths dedicated to political merch. Yes. Uh, I even got this cute ACAP sticker as a gift. Hell yeah! <laughs> All Kai bars are beautiful. That's awesome. For real, there's a huge overlap between queer and digital folks. Uh, furries aren't uh, politics, etc. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. For a friend. It does make sense, though, uh, at least to me, because a lot of furries are LGBTQ, and the right has this whole, you know, hate campaign against yep. the LGBTQ yep. community. Um, and also furries. <laughs> True, so apparently. I decided that my question should become a little more political, too. Sure. I saw that you did... Political patches, you know. What we got here. No masters, no leashes. That's pretty metal. What else? Is the, I can't see the rest of these. Punk rock, dude. I love punk rock furries so much. The rich, uh, no masters, no leashes. Eat the rich. Is good. Um, I'm assuming that most furries are left leaning <laughs> on the political spectrum. Has anyone ever given you? Uh, uh, the only thing I don't like. Uh, some uh, some furries will waste the energy for those shit people on the fur uh, on furries who haven't done stuff like that. Pizza guy, for example. Wait, the only thing I don't like is that some furries will waste the energy for those shit people on the furries who haven't done stuff like that. I'm a little confused what you're trying to say, though. Hey, Kevin, is now an acronym? Uh, I never thought. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all kind of bar bars are beautiful. Any, like, trouble over that or had a problem with that? Only in, like, a personal level, not here at the con no, or, not. you know, in the open community. It's been more of a person I know who doesn't agree who has said something to me. Yeah, well. There are, like, I have a lot of SRA friends who are here. I have a lot of John Brown gun club people who are, yep. I know are here. So there's a lot of gun furries, by the way. There are a lot of, like, gun furries that are, have a good night, have a good night, have a good night, have a good night. <laughs> there are a lot of gun furries. Uh, what are so SRA? Think, if for people oh, that don't oh know. the Socialist Rifle Association. Like, um, there's definitely like pe furries here who also like fight back. Cosmo, thank you for all I do. <laughs> I mean, if you look at Different what structure. happened in the past at other events where yeah. there were far right people claiming they were going to show up to furry events, yep. oh, like, there was uh, a huge online pushback. There's like a lot of people coming Yo, out fella, saying they they would defend people from like. Proud uh, uh, I feel bad that furries get the best bad rap. They are uh, so the nice people. So 
it, it is what it is. Um, again, we live in a very, we live in a society. But for real though, we we it, 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 on the outside looking in, you look at somebody who's dressed up as a dog, and you're like, well, that's weird, right? And then you hear all the, the what what happens is you hear a lot of the bad and not as much as the good. And you hear about, like, some of the things that, like, you know, some of these freaks have done. And it's easy to fixate on, like, the bad. Because it's a, only the, by the way, only bad news gets on the news. Do you know what I'm saying? The only people who report on drama channels are typically reporting on the bad things. You don't hear about the furries who raise money for charity. You hear about the furries who are literal Nazis, right? So, it's like with anything, right? So, um, furries, again, is it's, it's a community. It's a hobby. Of people who have found a common ground in goofy, silly, anthropomorphic animals as an escapism from real world. And it is a chill community that just wants to have a good time. Very queer positive. Uh, very, very inclusive. Um, and a very kind community that, while has its problems like any other community does, is probably very misunderstood because they're, they're viewed as weird. Because you, an average 13-year-old kid who is so obsessed with trying to fit in life is strange you're going through changes and you see a bunch of these people in suits uh you see people referring to themselves as they them and that's weird to you because your parents only ever told you that he and she and that's it uh you see two men kissing or three men kissing or four men kissing you see uh you see uh people who are wearing who are holding proud a thing that your parents say is a trans flag and you say what what is what does that mean? And then your parents just playing to you poorly, and now you have a representation about what trans is, and you don't know what that means. And you're gonna you're gonna be you, you begin that dialogue of being a, a a very spiteful, hateful person without knowing much better, right? And that is just you look at the outside looking in. A lot of these teens, a lot of these youth who are impressionized by these boomers, see the furry community as a pariah. How can I I'm gonna sleep? How can I sleep? As a pariah, as a as some sort of weird. Uh, fetishist thing. In reality, it's just a bunch of dorks having a good time. And that mentality is very closed-minded. You see it a lot with, online from people. I'll use Asmongold as an excuse here, right? Asmongold made a video uh, basically dogging on furries, being like, they're freaks, they're fetishists, they should be near kids. And it's it's from a very closed-minded standpoint. He's never talked to a furry, no doubt. He's never been to a furry convention. In fact, he's probably never done any research outside of what he saw online, which is, insert furry here, is a weirdo. But in reality, like, that is a, a drop in the proverbial sea of actual people that do this stuff. And it's a bit of a bummer because, you know, in his case, he's a platform. But the point still stands. A lot of people view this because that's how they have been kind of bred to view this. If you've been on the internet for any given time, I'm sure you've probably seen, like, a 4chan post shitting on furries because they're weird. So that's why people shit on furries. It's gotten a lot better uh, in the past few. People have acknowledged it as a hobby and not, like, a fetishist thing. Um... Do we sit in the same uh, room as uh, uh, Rotten Food and Roaches? I uh, listen. I real quick. I Asmund Gold. We're gonna talk about that real quick. A uh, side tangent. Sidebar. Oh yeah, and also that episode from CSI. But that's that's a meme at this point. Um, if at, listen, you is how do I phrase this the best I can? Um, I I do have disagreements with Asmund Gold. I have I I do not personally dislike the guy one way or the other. He's just you know he's. I don't really watch his stuff anymore since he kind of made some awful takes about the AI art thing. But what I will say is, like, if he wants to live in filth, he's an adult. That's the choices he makes. I, we can't, if that's how, if he, if he so chooses that life, who are we to say, right? So pop off, slay, whatever. If that's the life you want to live, man, who am I to say? Live and let live? Yeah, it's not my house. I mean, I personally couldn't. Hi, Hope, how are you? Okay, hope noted. <laughs> noted. Boys, Nazi yeah. furs, the Milo Yiannopoulos yeah, thing. He was gonna come up. to this Wasn't event that like a few years ago or something. Yeah, and there was okay. a huge. Andrew, well, how are you? So I, I have a little bit of when it comes to uh, stuff like these. I know a few people from mine who go to events like those, and I get my full support because it's it's literally like a hobby. You'd be so. Are you? I hear this awesome promotion. There is Paul merch. It's pinned right now. Hi. And also, Ray, how are you as well? Hi, Ray. I how are like you? Our strength is that all of us are not going to tolerate. Yep. Hate and violence Correct. in our community. Correct. Just to be Hi, Wolf, how are you? Uh, kind of serious for a second. Ugh. I did have a fear of going to this convention Go with ahead. all the right wing stochastic terrorism and hate crime shootings this year. Yep. I was really nervous that the convention would be a prime target. Like that is a very genuine fear to have, especially in in 
the modern age. I am I am happy that there is from what I've seen very good security at these events, but that it is a prime it, it's a genuine fear because furry conventions are very closely associated with the queer community and with with the th the way things are at least in the states, it's it's a very genuine fear. So don't feel don't feel as though invalidated for having a very fair fear. Do not uh, armor has plates when I cosplay. That's you know what, fair enough. I am sadly to fear that, but whenever change happens and whenever whenever change happens, whenever you see like for example the the, the queer community being recognized, being more public, uh, trans rights being more in the, the public face, whenever you see change happen, people are scared of change. And a lot of these right-wing folks will lash out in a very violent way at change. That just means that the change is evolving. We are, we are, we are, we are becoming more of which um, the, the old guard is being replaced, right? My partner, my first guy, Fox Twenty Three, and we are both a little nervous. I'll remember this coming about. I think it is not an invalid fear. I think that you, if it, to to say that it would be would be ignorant and disingenuous to you all, because we do live in in a point in history where these changes are happening and people are psychopaths. Um, thankfully, I think it has somewhat calmed down in the past few months. It really is a case of if you do go to conventions and you are worried of these things, the best advice I can give you, if you are genuinely worried, okay, like sincerely worried, is stay out of the main lobby areas. If you are, if you are genuinely worried, you are scared, you are like, I want to go to a con, but I'm terrified – Go hang out in the places throughout the con that require a security guard to check badges. <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, like, main lobby is where someone can just walk in, right? But if you go to, like, Artist Alley, the gamer section, if you go to, like, the various concert halls or panel rooms, there is a required badge you need. So if you are if you are a, if you are in genuine fear of something happening, my best recommendation is be deep enough in the convention center where it would be a non-factor for you, where you could run and hide given the, the event of something horrible, right? That, that, that will allow you to enjoy the convention because there will be that line of security without, and by the way, um, there's really no reason to hang out in the main lobby area. I never really got that. Like the main lobby area is always been like, just go up the stairs, go up the escalators and then hang out there. You know what I'm saying? Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, but that's my advice to you if you want to go to this convention. And not just like this convention, but like a lot of conventions. You don't have to hang out in the main lobby area. You can just go deeper into the con where the odds of someone doing something horrific are lessened because there are layers of security. It's a great thought, but at the very least, we haven't uh, seen an attack. It's too horrible. Let's knock on wood for that one for sure. Um, the main lobby is a good meeting place. That's it. That's it for sure. But if you need, I, I think that you should coordinate with your friends. Also, sorry, Jeff Bezos wants his ad break. I'm being warned right now there's an ad break incoming. But la before that happened, communicate with your friends or in some cases your community say hey we're gonna meet on like the third floor near artist alley or something like that right so um you know just be aware of surroundings be aware of where common entrances and exits are and if you can avoid being in those areas you should if that if that is a genuine secure, uh, concern of yours when i was first i was very nervous that i was at the panel and you can make uh, friends honestly for those uh i've had an amazing time at con yes that is fair all right we gotta run ads chat real quick ads uh, do you, uh, in any way, uh, uh, do it any way, communicate, uh, tell your friends, uh, wait, do you, wait, uh, do you, do it any way you can communicate? What do you mean? What? Do it any way you can communicate? Hmm? Like Discord? I'm confused. <laughs> to meet up at whatnot? Oh, just use Discord. Let's use Discord, texting, like, any kind of, like, uh, t uh, Telegram, whatever gets you in the places as opposed to just hang out the front, right? Or whatever, like, go, uh, goes the guns to a furry con production. I... I, I believe it's it's definitely not allowed for obvious reasons, um, but uh, no, I, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of you know it's just you want to check fan art again? Oh my god, what is what are you doing today? Oh my god, there's so many. Are these also wait 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 are these are these all ones that you bought? These are crazy. You got a whole bunch of these, or did you redo these? I'm so confused. I mean, governors are a thing. True. I bought them. These are really, really cute. I like these. I have these the restaurant really bad. Everyone go to the fan art and check out Golden's work while I go pee real quick. Hold on one second. Where's where's hot drinks? Cold drinks. Cold drinks are coming. 
The bears have cute shoes. They're really, really cute. They're really, really cute. I'll be back real quick. Hey! Drinks. Cold. Are you ready? Here we go. Soft drinks, lemonade, water, cold tea. It's up to you. It's up to me. Cold drinks come in four cups. Gotta know the size before you fill it up. Biggie, medium, small, kids meal. Keep it straight. It's a good deal. Use the scoop to fill with ice. Never use the cup. Take my advice. For soft drinks, fill the ice halfway. No matter the size, that's what I say. Tilt the cup and push against the lever. Keeps the foam down now. Isn't that clever? If there's still foam, let it settle down. Don't pour it off or your boss will frown. When you reach a quarter inch from the top, that's where you want to stop. If the customers say they want to stay, put the drink on the left-hand side of the tray. If the order's to go, put the lid on tight. Make back, sure sorry, it helps back. to do it right. Order then hand back. that drink to the coordinator and tell the guest you'll see back. him later. All right. Sorry about that. Um, now I can show off Golden's art. Sorry. I had to use the restroom pass. Uh, quick pee-pee. But hold that for a bit. <sighs> also, <have> a <laughs> very good wheeze. Very, very good. Jojo. These are really cool. I like that Golden knows my... my Because I I do have a different color at the back of my mane. Like, the back of my... You can see, like, a little bit of the dark brown here behind my head. That's how that's how my back looks. So, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Does it look like Pete? No, I did not. I used to work at uh, uh, Wendy's in the part of Square because they uh, don't cut corners. Oh, my gosh. I do got to say, though... um. Uh, this is how the 90s uh, ads were from the uh, ad. No, no, they were they're real ads. It wouldn't have been the first time either. Right. Um, though that claim does come with an asterisk. Yes. See, back in 2014 yep. at the same convention, yep. um, there was. This was the, the, uh, granted, this was 10 years ago. Uh, the bases are all made by uh, PolyXR uh, per, uh, per two. I made a ton of bases. That's fun. They're very, very cute. Some type of gas attack. It was yes. chlorine gas. It yep. uh, filled the main hotel late into the night yep. and sent numerous people to the hospital. Although no one died, it must have been terrifying to experience. Yes. Hi, Coffee. How are you? And how are you doing, John? Hi, everybody. Hi. How about today? I'm doing well. Our merch drop launched today, so I'm feeling very, very good. Uh, to this day, uh, the authorities and FBI included have been unable to determine what exactly happened. It was a Thankfully, gas attack. nothing like that happened this year, although the con wasn't free of harassment. Yeah, so um, I want to give some more advice. If you go to these cons, another thing that furry cons always have are weird protesters outside saying the gays are going to go to hell. Don't engage with them. It's going to be really tempting to make fun of them or engage with them. Don't. It's not worth it. It's just not. Don't engage with them. Don't talk to them. Don't acknowledge them. Walk past them. I promise you it's not worth it. It's, it's just not. That nothing you can say to them will give you any... You're not going to change their mind. Making fun of them is not going to help anything. Just leave them alone. So many furries go talk to them. It's exactly what they want. Um, who decided to uh, order a chlorine uh, dipped papers and then use them as layer prisoners and get that... Uh, what? I never heard of that. There were a few right-wing protesters that... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... The, these two... This picture is awesome because I feel as though one of them... Like, ugh were trying to heckle people outside of the main hotel and yep. my theory as to why they were outside of the hotel is because they they couldn't sign up for the convention yep. because they probably didn't get vaccinated that's my guess too there's also another advice i can give you guys um i learned this myself too but don't if anyone wants to interview you check their channel out first if you're getting interviewed by any like youtuber at these things check their channel out first don't just get interviewed for an anti furry channel and you're being you're being played into it. Be like, hey, what's your channel? And they're like, oh, it's uh, you know, this, that, and the other. Because there was a guy that went to MFF whose whole purpose was to make furries look bad, and he made a video about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Smile. How are you doing? Headcan in the side. Uh, their signs read. What are you watching? This we're is we're... not normal, and this is what a dying. We're, we're watching a non furry go to furry convention. Society looks like. I did actually want to interview them, but unfortunately, mm. I was separated from my cameraman at ah. that time. Um, luckily, I was in normal clothes. I didn't have my. That's just sad. On. Some people, again, some people make. Uh, you just have the merch, the, the, the pinned link above. I had the merch out. Yeah, uh, that's just sad. Some people, you know, hey, that's what they want to do with their weekend party on. Just hold a sign, look like a dingus. Sure. So they didn't think All I right. was a furry. So I got to hear some of their thoughts. Um, 
At first they were talking to each other about how they could save the furries. They just needed to talk to them. True. <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, maybe maybe I could have a reasonable chat with them, you know? Uh, reasonable is a tough sell. But yeah, Chuck Dragon, of course he did. You love my merch? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They seem to actually want to help people, even if they're a bit misguided. Um, yes. But then they walked up to the window and screamed, Pedos! And yep, there it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, it's worth mentioning. Anyone who does this is not someone that can be reasoned with. Don't waste your time. You can't change their minds. You can't change their perspective about furries. They've already locked in their mindset. It's not worth your time. Don't ruin your con talking to a brick wall with lips. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Uh, there's, there's, they, they, uh, they were uh, raised in God perfectly. That's pretty much. So, yeah. <laughs> I still kind of wanted to talk to them, but by the time I got back together with my crew, they'd already left. Uh, I, I love interviewing these people because if you ever ask them anything about their beliefs, they have, like, a a playbook about, like, why all furries should die. But then if you break through the playbook, they just don't have anything else. They have they have nothing else to go with. And you change the, uh, their minds are extremely hard to the point where it's not worth it. It's not worth it. it don't, don't waste your weekend. And if our producer size and unsheaths my, oh, Patrick, oh my god, stop. Take it easy, lock it easy. Someone had stolen their signs, and I Aww. like to imagine that they called the police. Bro, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Don't steal their signs. It's not worth it. It's not good. Yada yada yada. Don't do that. Don't don't steal for their signs. Let them have. Their but if you, if I was like rooming with you, and you roll up with one of their signs, we're gonna have a party as a trophy. That shit rules. But don't do it. But. That's pretty sick. Came, and they're like, a giant dog stole our signs. And the police look around and they're like, which, which one? one? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, John, and no. Although we did make it to the second day trying to blend in, our intrusion into the furry wilds did not go unnoticed. Yeah. We were ticketed by the furry police. Yeah, that'll do it. What'd you do? Hi. So I see that you're uh, the Thought Swat. Uh... The Thought Swat? That's sick. Um, what exactly is a thought? Well, you know. Wait, does he have his dog tags on his note? That's actually kind of metal. I mean, I have my dog tags laying around here somewhere. I would never, by the way, hey, prior military furs or military furs in general, or military folks, don't wear your dog tags. It's just cringe. Unless you're on a, unless you're in combat, like a combat zone, don't wear that shit. That's cringe. Um, but I mean, this looks pretty sick. Honest to God, at this point, when I'm doing this, the thoughts, uh, I just give them to pretty much anyone. I'm trying to make some memories out here for anyone. Uh, realistic. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm not out here targeting any specific individuals. Oh. Um, I know that people that dress huh. like me doing the thought cop thing, uh, I'm trying to get a better name for myself. That's kind of cute. I like that. Because a lot of the other people... Will yeah, also, your dog tags have your SSN on them. The, you know, that's what they have. This is really cute, though. Do, like, eh, questionable shit, You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. what's a thought? Sluts, I guess. <laughs> this guy... Dude, this guy kind of, like... This guy... Okay. That's pretty funny. Uh, they complain about the, uh, uh, they won't. They're saying, I'm still, uh, the same, uh, page is what I mean. And there are some of us, of course I do. If it weren't for VTubers, uh, uh, I would never have gotten along with love for a community more, uh, before I was nervous. Aw. That makes it a lot that you're able to do this. I'm sorry that you, that it took this long, but I'm glad you got here with us. You know what I'm saying? Spy, so uh, thank you for the fall. How you doing? How you doing? Did your dog touch a very, uh, personal phone? Why the heck would you wear it? I'm, I'm gonna give you a quick insight to the worst thing ever. Military people who get out and don't know how to detach. They make being a veteran their entire personality. That's why they wear them. They wear them outside their shirt. So you'll ask about them. Oh, were you in the military? And then they'll be like, oh, I was, yes. And then that's, you're just done, right? They never left. Exactly. It's, dude, I know my dog tags are somewhere. I don't know where, bro. Uh, probably in my safe. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, also, because they're soft first too. Wait, wait, what? Oh, all of YouTubers are uh, actually really uh, furry positive. True. Uh, I've had a few weird moments, but I won't talk about those on stream with some interesting interactions with uh, non-furries in a VTuber space, but I'm not here to start fights. That's not why you're here. My dad was in the military and he never uh, wears that. Because your dad's cool. I'm, t I'm sorry. Listen, if you're in the chat and you still wear dog tags post-service, stop it. 
please. I'm begging you. I am not in any way a fashionable guy. I wear sweatpants and a hoodie and a tank top every day. Please stop wearing a top tags. <laughs> Bro, please. Please. Uh, because I'm uh, uh, an electrician. Yeah, also don't. Well, yeah, you don't wear your tags. Well, that's a whole other can of worms, right? Can I ask a military question? Of course you can't, Terry. I feel bad. It's like they're taking advantage of their uh, service. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just weird. It's just weird. It's, it's just like anybody else who doesn't know how to disassociate like one hobby over another. In this case, they've their entire life being in the military. I don't even know my bro, come on, my top, my tags are somewhere, bro. They're somewhere in the house. Uh, the first the dog tags is that if you're uh, killed, in yes. If you are killed in combat, uh, KIA. Uh, that is why the dog tags exist. Or if you get like, so if you get uh, knocked out, they need to be able to identify who you are, your 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 blood, your social. They get information from the dog tags. It's a very quick way for the docs to get a hold of like what what because you have the blood type on there, you've got your social, you've got your name. Um, it's a very quick way for them to make sure you're alive. I don't know why you'd wear it. You have a question? Sure, what's up? The guy you found a, uh, someone's lost dog tag on a uh, bar floor because of Bob Brown. Oh my God. I, I've i seen, uh, dude, if you, I've seen, okay, cringe and coming. Sorry, hey, sorry, prior military first or active duty military. I'm sorry. I saw a guy wearing, do you know anyone who's German? I do know some German folks. I don't know, I don't really hang out with too many German folks these days, but back in the military I did, yes. I saw a dude where, you know, I saw an ex-Marine at the bar. Like, he's at a bar, like, oh, it would have been months ago. And he was wearing that, his tight green, like, military, like, undershirt tucked into, like, khaki cargos with a belt. Some, some of those dockers as, the, as his foot and his dog tags outside of his thing. And he was so clearly, like, he just got out of the military or he, or he just got out of boot camp, rather. And it just, I, I... I wanted to vomit into my drink. It was too, oh, oh my god, poor soul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, Sorry to traumatize you guys like that. Kind of missions are the thought swat deployed to. Cringe. Uh, what kind of missions are the thought swat deployed to? Um, well, I think I'm the only unit of the thought swat. It also goes by the thought cop. Um, I usually get deployed to any Chicago local cons here. Nice. So I'm here. Uh, I remember seeing a person who have uh, their furry outfit was uh, on. Uh, Fox memory serves last year Pride Festival. I gave him a thumbs up. I I think that's really cool. I would wear my fursuit to a Pride if I wasn't going to die in the heat. Might have been German. Ew, Germans. <laughs> I'm kidding. Was he wearing uh, unbloused boots? <laughs> Stop. I'm going to vomit. I don't think so. I I, I, I just associate with a solid haircut. <laughs> here for ASEN. Um, I'm here for MFF. Nice. Uh, I have gone up to First Squared and uh, one of the other ones that's up there. In the I would love to... I like a furry escort. Who, this person? No, their whole shtick is they go up to somebody, like a furry, who's doing like, you know, shaking their butt. And like, you're stopping a thought. And that's the whole shtick. Um, I'm German. That's all. I mean, I, I, I know there's a lot of folks here who are German. We got folks here from all over the world. I've, uh, worn my fursuit to a pride parade. I've had, uh, as cool, a vest given pack, but it was rough because it was a bright. Yeah, that's the thing. This is the heat, right? When well, I have multiple German friends, I actually all lived in Germany for two years of my life. Oh my gosh. I, I, I never been to Germany. I would love to go one day. Germany is beautiful. Johnson. Um, I'm trying to keep it local right now, but with a new job, new perks. I'll say my ass my face. To, uh, Hell yeah. A little bit more here. So you, Hell yeah. you might be seeing me at, uh, Hopefully, Anthrocon this year. Um, the issue for me is I can't go. Here's here's a downside to being a a a popular uh, creator in the furry space, right? You're in the industry. Oh hell yeah! Is that I can't go to public can like public meetups without I if I if I meet somebody, I want it to feel authentic, and I want it I want the potential friendship to be built on a level of like we're just two people, right? But being a niche micro internet celebrity that I am, there's always that risk. Someone's like, oh my God, the Pomod, oh my God, right? And then it's like, oh, okay, great, right? So I don't really go to anything local. You'll never see me at local con, um, unfortunately. Oh, nice. Um, so I want to thank you so much because I know you were going to head on out and you uh, actually came uh, to us when we called. And, Understandable. You know, it's kind of it, weird. It sucks, but I don't want there to be that like level of like pedestal already, right? 
I, first off, I don't believe anyone should be put on a pedestal. But also, I uh, creators, creators especially, dude, don't 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 put creators to a pedestal. Oh my god! Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. It's just a hell yeah. Having the police come when you actually call them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it's definitely a little bit of an odd experience. I'll totally admit that. Um, obviously, I it seems you've got one of my reports there. Yeah, you didn't fill it out, and we can't have a violation slip without a violation. Oh so, no! Oh, he's got a little. That's cute. What what, what have I done? Oh sure. He's got a little. Ah, oh, it's really. Cute. That's answer? really cute, uh, dude. No, no? Ah, damn. But what would my violation? This guy seems chill. I like his suit, by the way. I, I this guy seems chill. B. I like their suit. All right, for you. Let's go ahead and uh, fill this out real fast. I'll go ahead and do the uh, whole process for you too. All right. All right. Uh, well, obviously, I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? The Adidas tracksuit pants. I know you can't. Oh, tell, but... the Adidas tracksuit, baby. I got the exact same ones on. Ooh, yeah. So I can't quite hit you for a lack of drip charge. We got the drip. <laughs> lack of drip I can't charge, hit you dude. For a lack of bitches charge. All right. Uh Lack of bitches charge. Okay, dude. Again, that's really that's fun. That's cute. That's really goofy. <laughs> that's fun. Good for him. Uh, Damn! Right. I have no bitches. You called me. True. Um, and then possibly a loitering, depending on how long you guys have been here. True. Fair enough. All right. True. So, uh, yeah. So under convention law, in accordance with local code zero four twenty dash uwu. You are here, Dash uwu, shut up. Kind of actually looking for people, but uh, randomly meeting up with someone uh, random is the best way to uh, meet my friends. Aww. Also, Dash uwu is really good. All right, under <coughs> arrest and face a fine for, we'll say, $3, all right? Call hey, all right, all right. that's not too bad. The violation listed below. And what I get you for, I got you for lack of bitches. True. Uh, you know what? We'll call being too thirsty, loitering, and stranger <laughs> True. danger, all right? True. All Sounds right. good. Sounds Thank good. You, you so want to do much. me a solid and read the bottom print there for me? Oh, boy. Your violation has been reported to the National Thought Offense. Too edgy, lack of drip, yawning before 2 a.m. Uh, lack of bitches, being a Karen, packing without permit. Oh, my God. BCA below 8, BCA below point. Oh, my gosh. Too edgy, stranger danger, uh, loitering, a wooing past 11 p.m. That's really good. Too thirsty, public display of cringe, fair. Twerking that permit and dump truck too thick. Bro, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Database. Failure to correct this violation will result in the revocation of potential future thought status indefinitely. Sure. If you wish to file an appeal, please send it to the following address. Twitter or Telegram at Panic Hyena. Ah. Okay. That's cute. Okay. That was cute. I'm sure everyone who clicked on this video was probably waiting for this section. Uh, the weird stuff. Yay! I thought we wouldn't get there. Let's do it. Yippee. So was there weird stuff? Yes. Hell yeah. Of, yeah, course, of course there, there was. was. Yes. But I do want to preface this section a little bit. Sure. Just because something is weird or different doesn't mean that it's bad. No, it's bad. Bad. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> we as humans have a natural distrust of the new and different, but sure. since we also have the ability to be rational, we can overcome this initial feeling of unease if we try. So I went to the con with an open mind uh, okay. because while I did see some weird things, go that on. Are tell, not, me, tell 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 me, cup of tea. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Pup masks. I mean, I from the outside looking in, I definitely see where the pup mask thing would freak some people out. When you go to a con once, you get over it really quick. It's literally not even a big deal. It's just a, just a pup mask. It doesn't matter. I pup mask, yeah, they're fine. I've never, I've never had an issue with uh, pup mask personally. I do know, yeah, it's normal. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not, eh. It looks cool. This one looks metal as hell, by the way. I realized that there wasn't anything harmful about it. No, they're just, exactly. I'm, I'm glad, I'm, it's vanilla. That's what I'm saying. Oh, not just that, but like, pup masks are a very easy way to get into the fandom. Uh, beyond the initial sexual connotation, right? Because there's obviously a sexual connotation that comes with pup mask, but it's also a very easy way to get in the fandom, and it's not... And people that get upset about it, it's like, it's, what? Who cares? Shut up. It, it, it's literally, it's literally like a zero deal. <laughs> like, it's not my thing, but I don't care. I'm not going to dookie on somebody for their thing, right? Like, who cares? They're just wearing it. Who gives a shit? You, know, I, you guys can tell me I'm like shrugging. I'm like, okay, neat. But I'm glad that this. I'm glad that Axolotl acknowledges. Like it doesn't matter. Who cares? Nothing visibly sexual is going on. Ex if they're, exactly. If they're just wearing a mask, bro. Like it ain't that deep. And I'm glad that he sees that as well. As far as I could tell, and I was there the whole time. Mm -hmm. People just had some gimmicky things on. Yep. And you know what? 
a lot of them rock the look, even if I'm personally not into it. Shout I mean, out to Lord Farquaad at MFF 2023. Sorry, I just say it. Lord Farquaad going to the top banners and just screaming down at furries is awesome. Sorry, continue. In walking through the dealer's den, almost anything that could be considered uh, not safe for work was mm -hmm. usually hidden from plain sight. Yes. And to see it, you had to show uh, your ID to the person to prove your age. Not just that, but they've... Are there age limits of these cons? Yes. They're... They, uh, lo so... A lot of cons will have been moving into a, which I, again, I like this a lot, um, have been moving their 18 plus stuff to an 18 plus section. But if there is 18 plus art that they have available, they, it's usually either hidden or like it's hundred percent, it's a hundred percent hidden. It's not like usually it's, it is covered it is censored it is hidden. Um, is there a too old rule? No. What do you mean? Like too old to go? No. Ever, you're, well, no. Uh, I usually have a pump mask, a cover, never anything more like that. Yeah, it's just, you know, just want to wear something over your face. It's totally fine. Lord Farquaad is a dragon. Uh, skill that is really funny. Uh, the highest bard in, uh, in, in Macabre 2. I know, true, right? True. Uh, got a nice, yeah. I, I, so there are, there are 13 plus cons. Anthrocon is a great example of that. Anthrocon, uh, is a 13 plus con. It is no not safe for work, and everyone is invited of all ages. Hi, Kingsley. The merch is out. Hi, how you doing? What are you doing? Uh, it's a very, very great con because uh, it is a... I love Anthrocon. It's a very, very great con for that reason. But, um, no, uh, it's it's very much, again, uh, I can see the, the comfort and a nominate. Yeah, it's the exact same thing as wearing a fursuit head. But, like, there's a little bit other connotation with it, but it's not a big deal. Who cares? Evil, how are you? Some people, uh, uh, like, more sleep fursuit. True. FW has an after hours event for Nassim Works, so it's all, uh, yeah. So a lot of conventions have a 18 plus part starting at like 11. But if, like, that's, they, they wait until, like, the dealers that is closed and the convention is calmed down, and then you get, like, your burlesque shows. Um, then you get, like, your, your, like, uh, you know, your 18 plus, like, kink talk panels. That's, that's what happens, like, 11, 12, 13, or 1300. My God, what did I just say? Um, I like the raves. You know, that's me. I like big, booming music. Uh, does it matter uh, cries on the West Coast? I'm so yeah, sorry. There's also a huge area that was just filled to the absolute brim with wieners. Uh, not safe for work stuff. Yeah. It was, it was all roped off. Yep. Uh, I was behind curtains. Yep. And you couldn't get in until the official con staff checked your ID. Correct. Now, I'm not going to show footage of it because I'll one, get banned. I don't want you to I, I age restrict this video. I don't get banned. And two, someone said we weren't allowed to take any photos or videos in there. Correct. Um, but I will describe it. So it's a privacy thing. It's a privacy thing because there are some people who still like they don't want to associate. Th like it's a, it's a privacy thing, right? Like it, it is as open as we are about the the furry space, and it, it is still to engage in sexual acts in general is a very intimate and private thing. And should be treated as such. Uh, so obviously, despite it, like the very base level, it's a privacy thing. And obviously, you know, don't do that. Uh, buckle up, Buttercup. Sure. Now this is a statue of Jesus. Okay, I I went to fight or flight. I was ready to alt F for the video. He can't help me here. Okay. So when I was there, okay, I saw toys yep. that were yep taller. Yep. And wider sure. than this guy. Yeah. And I gotta say, this is weirdly, if you go to any convention that's an 18 plus base, that's nothing crazy. So, it, like, if you go to a tattoo convention, some tattoo conventions just have it, that out. If you go to a, uh, like, they're, they're just, some convert, like, I'm waiting for the real part. That's what I'm saying. Like, it sounds like he's not been to an 18 plus section at a convention. Because they're typically the same thing, different flavor. Furries, please, what? talk to me. Can something like that actually be used? Or is it more like the centerpiece you put on your coffee table when your parents come over for the holiday? I would gladly do that. That'd be really funny. I never thought of it before. Never heard of background before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would absolutely... Do, I would... that Both? A hundred... Just, just on the table. I wanted to know. Uh, the place had a ton of gear for sure. all sorts of kinks. Yep. Kinks I didn't even know existed. Oh, you sweet summer child. Damn Doberman masks. <laughs> I did find some illegal stuff at the con. Like these illegally good fudge bars. Bro! If you guys have ever seen me at the con, 
You know I visit this place like four times a con. Oh my god. This is why I work out, chat. This is why I lift weights. I slam into the... Uh, if you guys have not been to this place at MFF, go. It is in the downstairs part near check-in. I literally go there and yeah, I gave artists some candies. I literally go there every single time. Most I get I get fudge. I get I there are some moonshine ones, yes. Are they alcoholic? No. They're just really good fudge and really good chocolate. I got some um so the first day I'll always get fudge. And then throughout the con, I will get um like chocolate covered espresso beans and stuff like that. Dude, I'm telling you, shit is so moonshine bars are God. There's <laughs> so good in all seriousness though the only thing illegal i did see at the con was a Rafe, bunch of these Rafe. stickers on a traffic pole it's kind of tradition you'll see it at anthrocon too you see it all the time anthrocon anthrocon especially there is one traffic pole outside of the taco place at anthrocon that is just covered and and, and t all, every year those fudge bars look so oh, they're, they're shaped oh my gosh chocolate almonds chocolate bars are so good razzle so good and in my humble opinion, that pole's got some drip now. True. True. All poles should look like that. True. Honestly, furries are a lot more wholesome than I thought. Okay. Firstly, they had several signs up that basically said, hey, we know that our culture is touchy-feely, yep. but... I By the way, I love these signs. Because you like even in the moment, it's so tempting to like run up and hug somebody. I, I love the, the reminders. Consent is king. Uh, make sure the person wants a hug beforehand. Yep. Uh, just because you know the suit... The person inside it could be someone else borrowing. Correct. And I thought that last part was neat because I never would have thought that yep. people shared their suits. Oh yeah. And I'm sure I I uh I wanted to share Barley's suit, but they were wearing it for most of the con, and I don't want that stink. <laughs> How about you? The side, yes, the, the the sides are great. I I do love the consent is king signs. Uh, I'm confused. Is there a person? Uh, wait. Is this a person? This person is not a furry. This person is not a furry at all. Uh, they just went to a furry con. They happen to have an axolotl soda, which is, you know, furry adjacent, but they're not a furry. Some furries don't eat. Yo, did you think of all? I don't know. I, I just think it's super nice when yes. a community stress. There's also um, quiet rooms where if you get overstimmed, you can just go to the room and just be quiet with everybody else and just relax. That's really nice, too. I do love the inclusivity of a lot of these rooms. Is that consent is important because honestly... As an introvert myself, knowing I won't be at risk of unwanted yeah. touching or interaction, it just makes me feel at ease, you know? I'm also, there's also these really great, if you are a suitor or someone who just is there, there are really great badges you can get. There's like a green badge, a yellow badge, and a red badge. The green badge says, you are welcome to hug me, whatever. The yellow badge is like, you can hug me, but ask first. The red badge is, do not touch me. And you can wear those when you're suiting, so that way people will just be like, oh, shit, okay, got it. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but at least I do. Also, did you know that every year the convention holds a massive charity? Yep, I knew we were going to talk about the charity. I love this part. Or you guys know I love this part. This part. Choice, yep. And I really it. mean it when I say massive. Yeah. So, Dude, this, it goes hard. This year it was for an organization called the Street Dog Coalition. Um, love that. Um, I had a friend who was out to go to the con for the first time and I'm sure they knew their quiet room was. Yeah, uh, that's good, as you should, because quiet rooms are super important. All, every year they're for local uh, organizations that help animals. This year alone, they raised over $100,000. Easy, to easy money. Home. Easy money, baby. And you know what? I just think that's... Heartwarming. Yep. Every con every year, maybe let's make some money for some goddamn charities. Or are we not uh part of the animal uh persona community? Wait, are they not part of the animal persona? They're uh, exploring the fur uh fur based animal sort of context. This feels uh contradictory. They're they just happen to be a an ox soda, but they're not they're not furry. Like or scaly. when have you heard of other conventions or like an anime convention or a Star Wars convention, whatever convention, you know, mm. raising a ton of money for charity? I I I I will let you guys know next month how it goes. I have not been to an anime convention in years. Um, they're kind of coin tossy in my experience. Uh, they're fun, but I just have more fun at Furcons, full stop. At least the ones I've been to haven't. And, you know, I think others should. Yes. That being said, what are my final thoughts on furries go. and furry conventions? 
honestly, I actually had a lot of fun. Fair. I got some really nice merch for franchises I liked. Yep. Uh, I got some neat art. Unless your friends, like true, true, bro. Any Anthro franchises like Zootopia, the oh, Bad yeah. Guys, Pokemon. Not even those Anthro franchises. There's plenty of places there that you can just get cool shit that you wouldn't be surprised. Like, there's, like, dudes that sell, like, chain mail and armor and shit, dude. It's, like, a lot of cool stuff. Anime tries to breed. A lot of them are weird. Yeah, that's not, like, good weird, but bad. But yeah. On Cult of the Lamb, there will definitely be something there for you. Mm -hmm. Um, if you just want to hang out with people and play all types of board games and video oh, yeah. games, oh, yeah. they also have you covered. Yes. And as many people I interviewed stated, it's definitely a safe space for anyone in the LGBTQ community. I know people who go to furry cons just because they want to spend 30 bucks for the weekend or like 50 bucks for the weekend to just play Commander all day with people. Because the, the, the amount of like Magic the Gathering furs who just go to these conventions to play Magic the Gathering is a lot. And you just play like 60 bucks, but you get like what? Eight hours a day of nonstop magic action? Like, hell yeah, dude. I'm dead serious. People to go, non furries will go to the con just to party, buddy. So, my birthday starts, hey, happy birthday! And no, I didn't forget to investigate the main reason for me going. Drum roll, please. Hmm? What? Yep, turns out furries don't use litter boxes. Oh, okay. Oh, right. That was the whole point. <laughs> Not through their conventions, and certainly not in school. I don't know if that was fun to watch. That's fair. Easy. All Thank right. you all so much for watching. This was, that was definitely lovely. Like the most money I've ever spent um, yeah. on a video. Fair. Just fair. literally, you know, traveling to yep. Chicago yep. and just, you know, hotel, con stuff and everything. I um, feel you. I feel that. You like I feel the content, that. I feel please that. don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to help support me monetarily. Now, I allegedly, there's a follow-up video that Cowboy's screaming that we have to watch. And normally, I wouldn't go this late, but I apparently have to. Hey, so. Yeah,